this is the black beans that I put in the jar earlier and soaked. This is about five hours after being soaked. I don't think it'll expand much more. So I'm going to pour it into my rice cooker slash slow cooker container and put it on slow cook overnight. And I should have a container of black beans in the morning. I'm going to do double the water. So I'm going to pour this in here, rinse, and then two, two uh, liters of water and let it cook. Also remember the green onions we cut yesterday, which was right here. They've already grown almost an inch, like the size of my th size of my thumb nail, almost a whole inch at the tips, because that's where I cut them, and that's just in one day. So green onions can regrow a few times before they give up or whatever. And if it was the summertime, the roots, you can replant them right in the ground. So today for lunch, um, the girls are going to have some hummus. I buy it at Costco for like $5 for two of these. And then I dish them out in little Ziploc containers. They're the perfect size. And it's cheaper this way. I can get a lot of little containers versus buying the um, individual packs. But if the individual packs are on sale, I sometimes buy those as well. And my youngest is going to have some leftover pasta with some cheese for breakfast because she's not a breakfast person. And there's one kid's lunch. She didn't eat her pouch, so she's having that. And the other one has peaches, granola bar, hummus, pita, sandwich. So here is the black beans that I cooked in the rice cooker slash slow cooker. I'm going to make them into, um, I think, a salad. For some of them and I might make them into some refried beans I haven't quite figured exactly what or I might take some and put them in the freezer because I like having beans on hand and when I was looking in the pantry I did not have any black beans only white and red kidney beans left and um, a couple of jars of mixed beans which are great for making salads and stuff but my family isn't a big fan of them so if I make a bean salad I might have one of my kids eating some of it but that's about it they might have a spoonful if I force it on them so there we go that's the beans. So today I think I'm going to make this wild forest mushroom couscous for my husband. He really likes couscous. And he's the only one that likes mushroom. I might try it if there's not big chunks of mushroom in it. And I'm going to make this package of falafel. I got 30% off and they're usually about $2 or less. Um, I'll make that for lunches for the girls this week. And what else is in here? So here's my pantry. It's not so organized. This is the section with soup. So there's some canned soups and some jar soups. I took off the labels off the Campbell's ones because a friend wanted and I wrote the name. So that's a vegetable soup. Because um, a friend needed the labels for her school. So when I bought a bunch of canned soups, they're usually 
two for a dollar when on sale or 44 cents or 40 cents that's when i buy them i don't buy them full price so i have a bunch of soups i can use at some point i'm going to make the macaroni salad because my husband likes that one particularly um today we're gonna have the leftover um curried lamb i took out of the freezer and i'm gonna take out another container of equal size that's leftover curry chicken and the little bit of curry chickpeas and i might make a, a curried cauliflower if the cauliflower is still good in the fridge i haven't checked that batch um so those are some things so in here down here is where i have crackers i have some panko crumbs i put in here some tomato juice to make porcupine balls that's all you can see i made brownie mix and that's where my beans are This is where I have the jars, so this is where my some beans are, pigeon peas, and lentils. It's getting less because I've been using stuff. Um, this is where I put all sauces and onion soup mix. I use onion soup mix on potatoes all the time and make homolki potatoes roasted. So, and then there's some purchased canned tomatoes. Because I know I did not can enough from my garden. And up here is my larger box stuff. So there's some mint rice, some red lobster biscuits, which my family loves. Um, sauerkraut and apple juice. A new thing of syrup. Um, so protein powder. I'm not too fond of that brand. It doesn't really have a nice flavor. But I think it's not flavored. Yeah, that was the problem. I didn't look before I purchased, and I got the unflavored one. So here's where I have some salad dressings and olives. And this is my veggie drawer. Oh, tomatoes got up there. It's supposed to be down here. So I have like canned pe peaches and cream corn, cream stout corn corn there's some dolmas and some peas and that pepperettes and oh there's a soup that's not supposed to be there i've got to organize this a bit better and this is a spot with the gravies i have a couple of canned gravies and then i have a thing of lasagna noodles which I think I'm going to make sometime soon. I have, my husband picked up off uh, Amazon, um, true lemon and true lime packets. You, It's literally like dehydrated lemon and lime. It's great for um, putting into iced tea or into dishes. And then there's some other crackers and Ziploc bags up there. And this is my opened pasta, new pasta and cracker drawer. It has some tortillas and the rice paper. Jeez. The crunchy noodles that are great on of Asian soup. A little bit of rice noodles here. Cornmeal. Some more rice noodles. The same. Actually, no, they're not the same. One's mung, mung bean noodles. That's why they're not together. Some croutons. Let's see, some bulgur to make tabbouli. Some of these things I want to put into mason jars so they store better. See, a tiny little bit of couscous. Those are the things I want to use up the next couple weeks. 
have a little container of little stars. And just some interesting different things. Some salad toppings that have some tortilla strip lime. So if I make um, a salad with the black beans, I'm going to try and make a Mexican style salad. And I'll use that to go on top. That and some cheese and beans, maybe tomatoes, lettuce, cucumber, and onions for the three of us that like onions. And a vinaigrette dressing, probably. I'll see about making that tomorrow. And here's my other drawer. This one's my quarter of, sort of bread drawer, so there's some pita. Two slices of bread left. Some pumpkin bread. I bought some open tortilla chips, pork rinds, some other crackers. My daughter likes these seaweed snacks. Sometimes for breakfast, if there's leftover rice, she'll have rice with um, rice vinegar and then have the seaweed snacks and kind of make like vegetable well, not vegetarian, like, uh, sushi without any vegetables or anything. So just the rice from sushi. And this is my snacky door, usually. So there's some more crunchy noodles, some chips, some popcorn, uh, some more fruit cups. I have some more in the cupboard in the red container. And some yucky pasta. And ramen noodles and some pasta. And this here is usually my tortillas drawer. As you can see, there's only one that has been used, and the popcorn. And there's some nan crisps that are good for hummus. So that's basically my pantry and my kitchen. In here I have um, some kids snacks that I have in here, some fruit cups and pouches. Here's some other snacky items. Um, back there is like the candy for baking and stuff like that. Um, what's in here? Well, here's some more rice noodle papers and just... Um, odds and sods of specialty ramen noodles or nuts and open packages of pasta. So my goal is to use up things that I haven't used for a long while. Um, some things might be expired, but they're dried goods, so it doesn't really matter since the expiry date is voluntary and that as long as it tastes good it should be fine um but just to try and use up things to be more creative than just doing what i normally do so so for my lunch i'm doing an everything bagel with some cream cheese and then i have some um, hungarian salami we can use jit uh, Genoa or whatever, like a nice dry salami. I like salami and cream cheese on a bagel. But you could have any deli meat. It's kind of using up what you have or just a bagel and cream cheese. And I still have half a big thing of cream cheese still. And I have still more bagels. So that is my lunch. So I'm now going to get some rice from my garage storage. Three, four, 
I'm gonna make extra because when I thought I made extra the other day, it was only like a cup and a half extra. Now I rinse. Got a lot of starch out. This is a uh, basmati rice. We liked it. Now I fill it up to the level four and a bit, so almost five, and put it in the rice cooker. There, I'm going to put the lid on, turn, and then I'll let it cook. So supper tonight is going to be lamb curry I took out of the freezer. Gonna heat that up, and then this was the chicken curry from um, beginning of January, or was it Boxing Day? I think it was Boxing Day. I had made this up, and I will um, put a link to a recipe that's similar to what I made and what I I bounce off of. As my go-to so i'm having that i'm gonna wait till that defrost a bit this one's already stirred frosted gonna heat them up and we'll have that and the leftover chickpea curry and rice and nan for supper so this is my husband's bowl he just wants the curried lamb which has curried uh, cauliflower and potatoes and tomatoes in it on top of rice as well as we're going to have two samosas each and nan bread. And then the rest of us are going to have some curry chicken with potatoes. There's the curried lamb and there's the leftover curry chickpeas. And we will have the nan, which I heated up in the oven. And that's it.